So you've read the title, you already know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna show you how to get this animated Discord rich presence. And it's animated because I have an animated verification badge, but you can also make this big image animated. Anyway, so start off, we wanna go to the first link in the description and you will see custom rp.xyz. You just wanna click on installer. It'll download the installer. We want to open it up and just install the program. It's gonna say Windows protected your PC. Trust me, this is open source. So if you actually want to go through the code, you can go on the GitHub page and look through it. It's all safe. It's just because it's a new application. Windows is freaking out. Just click more info and click run anyways. Then click OK. Pick your language. Accept the agreement. Click next. Do all this whoa hocus pocus stuff and click finish. And it should open up the thing. Now it's asking if you want to send usage analytics up to you. I click no. Then it'll want me to open up a manual. Uh, it's basically a tutorial. You're watching a video tutorial. So also click no. So next up you want to go to the second link in the description and we want to click create new application. Now we have this name of this application and this is actually really important for our status. You'll notice that mine says playing about me and it says about me and that's because the name of the application itself is about me. In this case I'm going to do something a little funnier. I'm going to do something stupid and click create. Then once you have this created all you need to do is click this copy on the application ID. Then we want to go to our discord rich presence and paste that into the ID. So next up, once you paste in this ID, you want to go to your Discord user settings. We want to scroll down and go to activity privacy, and we want to make sure that activity status is enabled. If it's not enabled, then this won't work, so make sure it's enabled. Then we can click on escape, and what you need to do next is actually make sure you're online, so you can be on do not disturb, idle, or online. If you're invisible, then this just won't work because you won't show up. So I'm gonna go on do not disturb and go to my 1490 server. Now, if I click connect on the custom rich presence application, you'll notice that it says connecting, and when it's done, it says playing 1490. Awesome. So next up, I'm going to add a couple of fields. So this details field, I'm just going to put in details so we understand what's going on. And I'm going to click update presence. And you'll notice it says details. I did not spell that right. Wow, that I'm just, I, I, I'm on something today. Anyways, details and for state, I'm going to put state and party, of course. And click update presence and you'll notice that the state is going to be the third line now you can set your timestamp here and if you hover over it it'll tell you exactly what you can do i'm just going to do my local time and click update presence and you'll notice that it says 11:48, and it is in fact 11:48. now next up this is where things change from my previous tutorials we have our images now beforehand you would have to actually go to your developer portal and upload them in rich presence gosh what a mistake that takes way too much time the new cool way of doing it is literally just going to Google, searching up Google on Google. I mean, you can pick whatever you want. In this case, I mean, I'm going to pick one of these images. I'm going to pick this Google image. I'm going to right click it, open image in new tab. Just make sure that it is an image itself. Then I'm going to right click it and click copy image address. Then once I copy that address, I'm going to go back to our custom rich presence application and paste that URL in the key and click update presence. And you'll notice, kaboom, now I have the Google picture as my picture. But the benefits don't stop there. Let's think of something a little fancy, like an animated uh, a Fortnite GIF. Oh gosh, I'm probably going to see some... Uh, oh, no, we're good. This, this is awful. This is cringe. So I'm going to right click it, copy image address. Then I'm going to go back to the application. So I'm going to paste it in and click update presence. And you'll notice now I have the Fortnite dancing GIF. The next up we have this small image. Now you can just place the same image and click update presence and you'll notice that it's this little thing, but if you wanna be really fancy, because I think I nailed it on the head here with this animated uh, verified GIF, there will be a third link in the description which will just be this GIF. All you need to do is just copy the URL, go back to the application, paste it in the small image, and then click update presence. We'll go back to our 1490 server and kaboom, you now have that verified check mark, which is fantastic. Then underneath the image URLs, you'll see image text. And basically, once you hover over an image, it'll show some text if you want. Now, the last thing that we get to do, which is, in my opinion, my favorite part of this whole rich presence, is we get to add little buttons. So on mine, I have my YouTube channel and my Discord server. If I click on my YouTube channel, you'll notice that it will take me to YouTube. And this is where I get to become a YouTuber and say subscribe because I'm close to 100K and I want Google to waste their money on shipping me a play button. That'd be just hilarious. Anyways, we're going to make these buttons. So we need to go to our custom rich presence and we need to enter in a button URL and text. The text is going to be what shows up on the button. So I could say like YouTube 
channel and then paste in the URL of the YouTube channel. And now if I click update presence and I go back to my normal thing, you'll notice that I have this YouTube channel button. Now, if I click on this button, you'll notice that nothing happens and that's just normal. You can't click on your own buttons. So the best way to test if your buttons work is to open up an alt account and try clicking the buttons or just asking one of your friends. Now, to make this a whole lot easier, you don't wanna always open up this application if you ever wanna display the status. You want it to just come on automatically, right? That's why we need to go into our settings and then just click run on startup, make sure that's enabled. And you can start it minimized if you don't want this popping up at startup every single time, which I'm going to personally enable it because man, I hate things popping up when I start up my computer. And finally, one last thing about this program that I really like is that you can actually just save presets. So I have this preset here. I'm going to save over it, just pretending I'm saving. And you can share this with your friends. So your friends can send you a preset. You can click file, load preset, open up their preset. And then all you need to do is just let it connect and you'll have their custom rich presence, which is pretty cool. Now, as is standard with my channel, I'm going to show you how to uninstall this custom rich presence application. All you need to do is just close it, press the Windows key, type in add or remove programs and press enter, and you should reach this page here. Now, it might be different for Windows 11. It's, uh, it's pretty similar. All you need to do is just type in custom, and then you'll see custom RP. Click on it, click on install, and click on install. Click yes. Then it'll say that uninstall is detected that it is running. You just need to go to your bottom right, click on show hidden icons. You'll see this custom rich presence, right click it, click quit. Then once it quits, click OK, and kaboom, you've uninstalled it. And, and that's it. That's literally it. Now you could always go into your Discord developer portal and just delete the app. In all honesty, I mean, you're never really going to fill up all these applications. It's up to you. You can delete it if you want. I'm not your parents. I can't tell you what to do. I can only show you things that you could do. Anyways, sweetheart, I'm actually going to go write a 30-page thesis on why Fortnite's building should have been banned from the start of the game and how Roblox is actually a free-to-play MOBA. God, I hate cryptocurrencies. I love you. Good night. Mwah.